Hey guys, what's up here? It's Billy Break back with another Duel Links video. Uh, this one is going to be a little different than the videos I posted so far. Because I'm going to be showing you something. Obviously, by the title of this video, the reason why you clicked it, I'm going to show you something that you probably didn't know you could do before. Something I think a lot of people in the tournament scene know about. Uh, and have been like using and obviously the reason why not to talk about it is more than likely so it doesn't get fixed uh, because it is a way to take advantage and use cards that you do not have and the, let's be honest like the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links not the easiest kind of cards to get from uh, a free to play uh, game so like there's complete I understand the complete reason behind taking advantage of this uh, I don't even know if it's a glitch like because this is something that I think would would be great to be employed in the game. I think it would be great to be able to use any card you want in the duel room. Let me, uh, for the people who like have been keeping this quiet because they don't want to get exposed because they want to take advantage of this, not necessarily like in a negative way, like in a cheating sense, to be able to uh, use cards that they don't have, but to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, you know, like, if you could just go out and buy the card, just like in the TCG, like, man... It would be really great if I could have that floodgate trap hole. Let me go pay $9 for my playset. But it's not like that. In this game, if you want three floodgate trap holes, you have to spend upwards of 120 to 200 Who knows how many dollars? Depending on how many free gems you actually have. So there is reason why like the people who have been using this thing that you can do... Uh, have been using it and not wanting to keep it a, a secret under wraps. And I completely understand that. I've never personally used it myself. Anytime I've entered a tournament, you can only play with these cards, you know, in tournament or against friends to practice with, which I think is a great tool to have in Duel Links. What is a better way to sell your cards in a set besides letting people practice with them first? But obviously, like, you also want them to buy the bad cards first, so there's a downside to that as well. Uh, but... Uh, I, 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 like I said, I can see both sides of the spectrum on this. I think if someone knows about an, a way to use cards that other people don't know about, uh, then maybe they are taking advantage of the rules a little bit. So that's why I decided to make this video from just like a moral standpoint. That way everyone will at least be on the same ground. And yes, it might result in them fixing the problem to where you can't do this. Which, then maybe the game's designed to be as originally as it is, so if you're against it, then I guess you're just, like, against the game being the way it's supposed to be. So a lot of people might, like, you know, backlash against me for making this video and showing off what their, like, you know, best-kept secret is. Uh, but I think it's something fair to know for everyone. I know if I entered in a TCG tournament and I spent $1,000 on my deck, if I spent $200 on three cards in my deck, like, Solemn Morning back in the day, right? a uh, $60 card. There's a reason why it's a $60 card, because you need three of them. And there was only so many out there. Supply and demand. That's the, why cards determine their value. Uh, I would not I would feel a little shafted if I entered a tournament and spent all this money on my deck and played against someone that was using proxies that spent no money on their deck but achieved the same goal that I did. Like, the best things in life aren't free. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. Like, I'm against money just as the next person. I hate currency. I think it destroys our civilization as a whole. But that's neither here nor there. This has nothing to do with the Yu-Gi-Oh! But the point is, is that some people are able to use this and keep it a secret, while others aren't. And then, I don't think that's fair whatsoever. I'm all about being fair. Uh... So that's the reason why I'm making this video. I know this video might upset some people because it's taking something away from them. But that's not my intention in this video. My intention, the vi intention of this video is to make everything fair for everyone. And show people something cool that they can actually do in this game. So you see that I'm on my friend's account. He just started playing Duel Links a couple days ago. Yesterday. Uh, stage 4. This is where you unlock the PvP room. That originally, like, there was no, like, construction on it, but now that they have it updated, there's construction on there till stage four. So you can't access it, which is pretty funny. You can see I still have all my gems. Let's go. Uh, originally, this Joey, level one, zero experience, have played none at all with Joey, right? None. Let's go look at his deck. Let's see what we got. We got a Red Eyes Bee Dragon. Very good card. No Champion's Vigilance, though. Not yet. Uh, Masakai, the Legendary Swordsman. Our strongest card besides our Tribute Monster is Baby Dragon. And no Polymerization if you use a Thousand Dragon. M Warrior number one. M Warrior number two. And I would think it would be M Warrior number three, but nope, it is a Blue Medicine. So this is all that you can see our inventory here over here on the right. Uh, the great cards are the cards that are in our deck, not the cards we don't have. <laughs> 
But uh, this is our inventory. You can see we <laughs> you just got that. Uh, we see our inventories over here on the right. So this is all I have in my collection. But let's say like I wanted to play a tournament, and I, the, the big deal, the big problem with this, the reason why I'm making this video is I'm going to explain at the end of the video is why people that are bad for the Duel Links community can take advantage of this because it's not it's not very fair. Because like I don't know about you guys, but when I started playing Duel Links, my favorite part about it. I'm uh, for those who don't know about my TCG. I guess I should talk about that. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh TCG. I did play Yu-Gi-Oh TCG since I was like 12 years old. The game came out when I went to sixth grade. Uh, I've been playing it since then. My favorite part back then would be like getting a new pack once a week or something, and adding the best card I pulled out of that pack into my deck, and making my deck just a little bit stronger every single week. It would just grow and grow and grow. And the beginning of Duel Links, that was my favorite part about it. And honestly, when I found out about like this little thing you can do, it kind of like even like it kind of bummed me out. Dirt hurt me from playing because I want to win a tournament because my collection is the best. My deck I created from my collection, that's what won me the tournament. Like the first time I ever won a tournament, you go, I had a deck. I wasn't supposed to go to the tournament that day, but my brother was, so I let him borrow my Mirror Force and all my good cards. So I just had a deck left with Troop Dragons and stuff, and I was able to win. That was my first tournament win ever, and that win impacted my life more than I could like explain to you. So I believe there is something to be said about like the integrity of the game, which is why you know I'm kind of doing this. So eh, please don't hate me for like showing people what they could do. In the duel room. Now you can't take this and do this against AI, so you can't take advantage in that way. You can't take this and play against the computer, so you can't take advantage of them that way. But if someone does hack their game to have all the cards, you can kind of ride the coattails of them with this exploitation. Not necessarily that they spent all their money, but you could have some uh, someone who's hacked this game and cheated. Because I believe hacking and having all the cards is completely cheating. Uh, they could post like, oh this is the deck I won with onto this deck board that I'm about to go to. You could then use what I'm about to do and cheat with them by the person who's cheating. So th there is a problem here, unless they intend for this to happen so you can practice with the cards before you buy them. There is something that needs to be said, something that needs to be fixed, something that needs to be known. So you can see this deck board. A lot of people who play this game casually uh, probably have never even seen this before. Don't even recognize it, because you can do everything but customize your cards somewhere else. Uh, but you go to the deck board, right? The game just started. I'm level four. Oh, these are all cool decks. So let's go and, like filter uh let's see newest cards because those are always the best the hardest to get the newest cards uh we got alien alien Ooh, gishki what is, let's let's take a look at the four beginners let's look at this four beginners deck <laughs> all right we have one two three ultra rares two super rares seven that's yeah so basically the entire deck is ultra and super rare with the exception of these five cards so we have 15 hollows in this deck i just started missing that the thing about this thing is you can't copy the dual skill. So if you think the deck is relying on the dual skill, you won't be able to use the dual skill until you uh, level up the character, which isn't a big deal. But uh, I want to play Gishkis. I don't need a dual skill. I'm good enough. I want to copy this deck. So we're going to copy this deck to Joey. Uh, that's what we had before. We'll copy it. Does it have cards like the rank up rewards and things for characters you don't even have? Not this one. This one This one is only... But it's completely gray. We got 20 completely gray cards in our deck. All right. So this gray... Oh, we got an exclamation point here. Deck includes card so cards you do not own. Oh, dang. Man, I want to get these cards. How much money is this? Let's see. So to get three of each ultra, you have to go through the box three times. So this is just one box three times, plus two Sonic Birds. So you have to go through that box maybe one time, plus maybe you got the other one from the anniversary pack they had a little while ago. So you're looking at maybe two hundred, three hundred dollar deck, maybe well, something like that. Maybe. Maybe if you're maybe lucky. A more. Uh, I don't have any skills though, so I can't set any skills. But I can copy the deck minus the skill. Uh, let's see, this thing's loading. Okay, go back. So we have a completely great deck. We're gonna save this deck. This, thanks for the warning. This deck contains cards that cannot be used in a duel, cards I don't own. Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to save it. All right, now I'm going back. All right, now let's see. I'm going to try and play this person. Let's see what happens when I try and duel this person. Ah, my deck can't be used in a duel. I can't play against the AI. That's fine. That's fine. All right. But let's say I want to play in against a friend. Oh, look. I'm in a duel room already. There's a duelist here. I'm going to sit down at the table. First, hold on, let me go look at my deck that I'm using. What deck do I have loaded? Uh, let's go. For those of you who don't know, dual rooms you create, like when you go into the PvP, you can create a dual room, has a number, someone else puts the number in, they can enter the room, and then you can play them. So this is the only deck I have loaded. It's very important that this is the only deck you have loaded. Originally, when I tried to do this, I had multiple decks, 
and it just wouldn't work, and I couldn't figure out why. But if it's the only deck you can play with as your active character, then it doesn't matter. But I'm going to sit down. Let's see. All right. I'm a duelist. Do I have an opponent? Let's find out. All right. So I'm going to challenge my opponent. My opponent's, you know, we're playing in a tournament maybe. We're playing for fun. But, you know, they're trying their best with the cards they've collected from playing Duel Links. I'm obviously level four. I haven't played with Joey yet. I don't have a dual skill or anything, but let's see what I can do. Let's see how this game goes. Hmm. Oh, this is nice. I have an Avishki Levav... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and a Sonic Bird. Okay, well, it's my post turn, so I should probably see what they do. And let's see how this game goes. As you can see, I love for Joey, but yet I'm playing with all the cards. This only works in the PV, the dual room, so you can only really take advantage of this glitch to practice or play uh, freaking uh, for tournaments. I think it's a great thing to have for the game. I don't think it's a great thing for some people to know about and other people not to know about, which is why I'm trying to show this. If it's something that the creators did not intend for the game, then they should take it out. If it's something the creators intended, they should make it more obvious that this is something you can do. Uh, either way, there's something has should be done to where the status quo should change. Mm, I'm gonna add a Gucci action mirror. Yeah, an ultra rare to search a super rare. Let's see. I don't even know what I can summon. I'm gonna add activate. What does this one do? But yeah, basically, you understand what I'm saying. I don't have to finish this game here. I'm playing with ultra rares and super rares. You obviously didn't see I have. This has been a hush hush secret amongst I think a lot of the top, uh, a lot of a lot of tournament people. I don't know who uses the glitch. I, I just know a lot of stuff's been coming out about cheating and stuff from the MCS. I don't consider this cheating, except the fact that certain people take advantage of the glitch when other people don't know about it. You can also explain how you can take cards out of the deck and add your own. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't change anything because it was all grave. I could have taken a card out and added my own card to the deck and it still would have worked just fine. So you don't have to copy the exact deck. You can tweak it, which results in a lot of people just posting uh, decks of three of every ultra rare from the newest set. So people can go on there, copy the deck, take out the cards they don't need, put in the cards they already have, and they get to practice with the deck. Or, worst case, play with the tournament. Now, the reason why this is so bad, why this actually matters, why it's great to the free-to-play players, like, yeah, look, I get to play with the cool cards that I don't get to normally use. But, do you think if it was an official Konami tournament, let's say, so far, the only Duel Links official Konami, Konami tournament, besides the KC Cup, but, like, where players sat down and played each other, was Worlds. Do you think you could do something like this and present your deck at the World Championship? I don't think so. Do you think... Do you think it's fair for certain people to be able to do this and not? No. Uh, if, it, if it's meant to happen, then they should implement it in the game. But either way, it's something people should know about and not just be a quiet secret uh, amongst a lot of people. Uh, it took me a long time to actually make this video, to actually do it, because I felt such conflict, because I don't like exposing people's stuff. Uh, but... This is something I've, I've never actually taken advantage of this in a tournament. Uh, I won't. I, I like I said, I like playing with the collection that I have and the collection that I build as a player. Uh, and but if it's meant for the game, then why not use it to practice? Uh, but at least everyone's on the same playing field and it's equal footing. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Now you know how to use the deck board to play whatever cards you want. But thanks for watching.